confront the difficult text and a pearl will soon present itself. We seem to be met with a strange yet seemingly sacred scene. Your first impression is bound to feel harsh amidst splintered wood and an endless void. The choice to place this artifact in center certainly separates it from the rest of its surroundings. This creates an island that is distinctly different from the rest of this work. You may notice how the colors in this composition exist upon a fiery orange-red base. In addition to this initial base are the more rare accents of blue, purple, and green, mostly seen on this pearl set in center space. But the sense of texture is also impossible to miss within this scene. We see this a sense of immersion that's set by the roiling smoke, the harsh wood, and even the smoother, sacred, shimmering pearl. Yet what exactly is happening here? We see how the frame acts to contain the canvas while almost providing a portal to peer through. We appear to be looking through a library whose fourth wall has broken beyond belief. There's really no doubt that this flared abyss adds a sense of danger to this display. Of course, after all, fire threatens to burn books. Burned books are the loss of knowledge, and the loss of knowledge is quite literally one of the most basic definitions of ignorance. One may be reminded of the burning and loss of the Library of Alexandria, but even in the current day, libraries do still burn down, and they are broken through time. That always symbolizes a loss of knowledge and culture. But this strange object almost appears as a talisman that hovers in the midst of this vacuous void. Upon the edge of this artifact appears to be a skull, no doubt symbolizing danger, death, and destruction. It's quite difficult to escape the darker spirit offered by this display. Everything seems to be lit in flames as visions of destruction precede the loss of so much we thought we knew. When we confront difficult ideas, whether that be in a book, a text, or in real life, this may incite a similar feeling. When we dive into difficult works, we are often forced to face the darker elements of the human condition. But despite this fact, the fate of fear is bound to lead to a revelation. Far beyond this, fear lends the fate of treasure as we discover the metaphorical pearl hiding deep within. That is, whenever you confront something that is difficult, you always come back with knowledge in some way or another. That is the pearl hiding deep within. So confront the difficult text and the pearl of knowledge will soon shimmer into insight. This piece was created as a multimedia product of two different AI generative art programs, that is Midjourney and Disco Diffusion, and then we have some additional edits in Procreate that makes this a very unique, very symbolic scene. I really hope you'll enjoy it today. We talked about so many different things from this color palette, of course, that fiery red base, but also that shimmering pearl in center space. We talked about the sense of texture within this scene immersing us so well. We talked about the fourth wall that appears to be broken in this library as we peer through this portal and this frame. We talked about the skull that appears to be on the side of this artifact symbolizing death, decay, and destruction. We talked about the burning of books and how that leads to a loss of knowledge, culture, and of course ultimately leads to ignorance as well. We talked about how when you confront a difficult text, you are presented with knowledge only after you have confronted that danger. But at the end of the day, what do you see when you view this piece or what do you think is happening here or even how does this work make you feel? At the end of the day, that's the symbolism that I found, but I'm always curious what you see when you look at this work. If y'all enjoyed, go check out the original artist Sir AI Labs ton of symbolic works, ton of works that have been studied at this point in the Apollo Art Archive, and a lot of really good works that are offered by the original artist. But that's all I have for today. Once again, if y'all enjoyed, go check out the original artist. My name's Apollo, this was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see y'all on the next episode.